so sorry, Terrell. I, I have the wrong room. Well, you know what? Why don't you stay? I'll, I'll get dressed. Don't. <laughs> I mean, because you're obviously expecting someone. I was, but I get the feeling that the lady stood me up. You know what? I've got an open bottle of wine here. It'd be a shame to waste it. You know, it's it's been one of those days. Oh. A glass of wine sounds good. Thanks. All right. <laughs> No one knows what happened to Franco. He disappeared after what happened in L.A. So what, he's out there somewhere getting rich by selling art and congratulating himself on what he did to me? Look, Interpol is tracking him down, but they think he's getting help from the people that they... The cops aren't going to find him, Dante, not unless he wants to be found. That's the way it works, and you know that. This is all a game to Franco. That's why he sent Carter after me. Yes. Franco used you to force Jason to engage. Yes, yes so what? I, what I, I got raped, and I'm not supposed to take it personally because it's about Jason? Franco did this to me. I need to make him pay. Well, then I pray to God you never find him, because if you get anywhere near Franco, that's a gift to him. The ultimate way of getting back at Jason. He'll mess with your head, and then he'll kill you. You think I'm helpless? I'm not. You can't get married at the Archer Pavilion. The entire place is under five inches of water. So drain it. Hmm. It's a mess. They'll never have it ready in time for the wedding. Well, I don't understand. Did did it did pipe burst or? Okay, let me guess. Someone set off the sprinkler system. You think I set the sprinklers off at the Archer Pavilion? Is this a joke? Ten thousand dollars worth of damage. The owner's not laughing. Maybe the sprinklers went off by accident. Maybe someone was smoking a cigarette no, or something. No accident. All the evidence is pointing towards malicious intent. Why are you accusing Carla? Because. This business card was found on the site. Carly Corinthos Jack, CEO of the Metro Court Hotel. a really beautiful voice. Nicholas inspires me. Actually, I wish that he was in the studio when I was recording. Well, you know, maybe I can clear my schedule and fly it out sometime. Really? Yeah. Wow, that would be amazing. And then we could go to that club in Soho that we like, the one that we danced at, yeah. Yeah. I suppose you'll be moving back to the city soon to work on your music? Hmm. You'll cook while I vacuum them under the couch. Yeah, I think it's a pretty fair trade. Plus, I'll let you keep whatever you find under my sofa cushions. Okay, any more chores you need me to do? Mm. Well, you know, normally I wouldn't let just any uh, Tom, Dick, or Harry wash my pots and pans, but you did save my life, right? <laughs> and I got some shells that you'd fix into. Okay, anything else? Just relax. Enjoy yourself. Can I talk to you for a second? Excuse me. Yeah. Talk to you. Uh, What's up? What do you know about Terrell Jackson? Uh, he, he has a good reputation. No, no, what, 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 who, who is he? What, where is his background? Well, why is he here? Patrick, what's this about? The guy shows up a month ago out of the blue, and now my wife is in his hotel room. Oh, great, you're still here. I'm yeah. worried you might have ducked out on me. Well, I almost did, but... <laughs> Awkward. <laughs> Could be. I mean, if your date decides to show up. You know, I think my date has officially canceled. You know, why don't you stay for dinner? I've got these steaks that I ordered from room service. Can't take them back. Uh, I was supposed to go over a case with Patrick. I actually looked at it already, and there aren't any changes. If you'd rather spend time with your daughter, I understand. Well, she's with the nanny. She's okay. And, uh, I am really hungry. <laughs> 
but you think that I'm crossing the line asking a married woman to dinner? To tell you the truth, uh, I'm not sure from one week to the next how married I really am. <laughs> Have a seat. <laughs> I don't think you're helpless, Michael. I saw what you did to Abby's ex-boyfriend. Okay, then Frank give me the last lead you have on Franco. I can take it from there. No, no, no. You're not hearing me, Michael. This guy is ten moves ahead of whoever goes after him. He's not going to beat you because you're weak or helpless. He's going to beat you because you have a conscience and a soul. There are lines you don't cross. Those lines do not exist to him. I am not going to live my life knowing what he did to me and that I didn't fight back. Well, then, then you're letting Franco win. You're making your life about him instead of you. Look, maybe you're trying to help me right now, but you don't know what the hell you're talking about, so just drop it. I don't presume to know what you're going through or how you feel, Michael, but I, I know a bit about revenge, and it's a trap. You think it's going to take away your pain and make you whole. So you chase it, and you make compromises. Okay, and then one day you wake up and you realize you're no different than the guy you set out to destroy. You're talking about Dad. You're right. The sprinkler system flooded the Archer Pavilion. Oh. Uh, okay, Carly. I don't believe that. I'm sorry. I didn't know she'd go this far. Oh, really? You didn't know she'd go this no, far? I didn't. What are you talking about? She's a vindictive child. Wait, I'm not entirely following. You don't need to. You don't need to follow any of this. Trust me, it's none of your business. You just you need to make sure that the venue is ready by the date of the wedding. Okay, please. but you don't understand that the damage is too extensive and it'll take at least a month to fix okay, it. Okay, I do understand that. That's fine. Find another venue or delay the wedding. No, we're n okay. We are not delaying the wedding. Sonny and I are getting married on February 18th, and that is final. Okay. Okay. Okay, Your Majesty, your call. I will have new venues and dresses ready for your approval by midday tomorrow. Thank you, Carol. Don't take this out on me. We can still elope. Okay. Huh? Let's do it. I mean, it's fine. We j I just want, I want to bring all the kids. You know, I I'm not leaving them out of this. I'm not letting Carly ruin this for us. You're coming in for questioning. Because of a business card? Because of your card. How stupid would I be to set off the sprinklers and leave my card? I, I might as well have a megaphone saying, I did it, police officers, come get me. You tell me, down at the station. I got it, I'm fine. Wow. Okay, that's unbelievable, you know what? <laughs> Brenda did this. She ripped up her own dress, and she set off the sprinkler so then she could play victim for Sonny. Tell me more about this dress. Hey, just be quiet, okay? Diane's busy, but I'm gonna call Alexis. Oh, don't call her. No, you, She'll call Jax. You, you need a lawyer. How long ago was the sprinkler set off? About an hour ago. Better start thinking about your alibi. You know what? Brenda needs to think about her alibi. So, uh, will you be moving back to the city? Well, I'm sure at some point I'm gonna have to spend more time there, you know, for my music. And the timing's good. Nicholas's holiday schedule is winding down, so he won't be needing your services anymore. Yeah, that's, uh, that's true. But, but you know, business and social engagements, they, they crop up all the time. Yeah, hey, don't worry about it. You know, if you need me, I'm flexible. You sound like you're going to be awfully busy with the kids. Didn't you say Spencer was taking writing and sailing lessons? And you know I signed us up for that baby gym class with Aiden? Right, no, I know, and I thought, yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Yeah, me too. Gosh, you know, you guys are such great parents. You just are. It shows in your kids. You have amazing kids. Thank you. Thank you for saying that. Appreciate it. Yeah. Well, my brother brought me here, but he looks a little preoccupied with Patrick. I really need to get home, though. No, don't worry. Don't worry about it. I'll take care of that. Come on. <clears throat> Thank you. I'll walk you outside and call you a cab. The hospital did a thorough background check on Terrell. He was clear. He's a great doctor. We're lucky to have him. Lucky to have him. It's, speak for yourself. It's not your wife that's in a hotel room with him. Maybe they're discussing a patient. Discussing a patient? Come on, discussing a patient. That's what you do at the hospital. You don't go to the hotel room for that. Okay, is there any chance that they could just be having a fa friendly, friendly drink together? Jake's is for friendly drinks, not the Metro Court. Okay, Patrick, 
I am beyond grateful to you for saving my life. Okay, so I'm going to give you some free advice. If some man is giving extra attention to Robin... It's more than extra attention. Oh, He's seducing her. Whatever. You don't stand around here whining about it. You go out there, you sharpen your game, and you win her back. How's that steak? Mmm. Delicious. <laughs> really good. Mm. Although, I do feel a little bit bad for bailing on Patrick. I'm sorry. <laughs> For what? My conversation is like a homing pigeon. It goes straight back to Patrick. No, it's no problem. Let me have it. I am here to listen. You're being too nice. Yeah, just like you were when I uh, got your garage door open and I turned your <laughs> lights on and off and your blender and your coffee maker. That was funny. Yeah, point taken. <laughs> More wine. Oh, just just a little bit. There we go. That's good. That's good. You know, that's the fourth half glass you've had tonight. A challenge. Okay, fill her up then. There you go. <laughs> That's my girl. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. So, um, you mind if I make an observation about your husband? Mm, be my guest. I think that he is making a sincere effort to get back together. Yes, you are right. Patrick is trying really hard. Is it working? <sighs> well, you know, I've told you a little bit about Lisa. And I'm sure the rest of the hospital gossip has filled you in. Mm. Yeah, she has given you a hard time. <laughs> to say the least. And, and this isn't to minimize all the other horrible things she's done, but when she and Patrick slept together, it exposed a fatal flaw in our marriage. What's that? But Patrick is a player. You know, he always was and he always will be. And I know that he loves me, but even if he believes that he can be faithful for the rest of his life, I don't know if I can trust him. Yeah, I got the boxes and I've shipped them off to Rio. Rio? I love Rio. Send me a Rio. Okay, yeah. Uh, all right, bye. <laughs> Hi, when, when did you get back? Oh, uh, just a few hours ago. You should have called me. Well, I sort of have my hands full. What's happened now? Spanky and I hit an oil slick on our placid matrimonial sea. Oh, so I'm guessing she's upset that your honeymoon was basically a front for your jewelry heist? You knew about that too? <laughs> well, there is that. And then there's the fact that she got arrested for smuggling in the jewels. <laughs> it's a long story. I'll, let's don't talk okay. about it now. But the, the point is here, I, I'm going to have to give her a little time, a little space, and so I'm going to hang out here. And anyway, it's great to see you. It's good to see you. I miss you. miss you, too. Um, I know that you're not fond of giving advice. Um, I could use some right now, though. What's up? I caught Dante in a lie, and I ended things with him. And now I'm thinking that I'm not so sure I want things to be over. When I was